YouTube, it's your girl. back to my channel ladies and gentlemen if you are new here hello hello and welcome okay be sure you like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl as y'all can tell today y'all don't be thinking i'll be paying attention but i'll be paying attention to y'all's comments i'm just saying okay i'm just i'm just saying okay hold on let me put some some um, some grease on my ashy lips hold hold one second hold on oh y'all when i tell y'all my lips is chapped I'm sorry, I couldn't even help myself. <laughs> my lips are so chapped, y'all. Anyway, so yeah, as y'all can see from the thumbnail today, y'all, I'm getting into it simply out of respect, okay? This is Zach Rushing's video, y'all. This man, he's so naturally funny. I wonder, like, does he think that he's funny? Like, he probably just be talking out the side of his neck and just saying whatever come off the top of his head, and he don't even care. He don't even care, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and it just comes off as just hilarious because I'm just like y'all I literally I laugh at myself I laugh at him when I'm editing this video I be laughing at myself laughing at him when I'm editing this video or editing his videos but I don't know y'all have been recommending this video for me to check it out for the longest so I'm jumping into it today okay so <laughs> Go on and get your popcorn ready, y'all. And let's go on and get into this video, y'all. Ow. A little story about how I almost got my ass whooped by. Let me tell y'all a little story about how I almost got my ass whooped by a black man during Black History Month. And by the end of the conversation, <laughs> he was hugging me and telling me, thank you for thinking the way that I think. I got a call last night from a buddy of mine, black buddy of mine. Same guy that asked me to go to the black cookout. He said, hey, man, how you doing? I said, good, man. Been a long time. He said, I know it. He said, hey, look, I need a favor. I said, all right, buddy, what you got? He said, man, inner city baseball league's about to start back up. And because of everything going on and them having basically the whole world shut down, we have had zero time to do any kind of fundraising for the, for the inner city baseball league. Would you consider sponsoring a team? I said, hell yeah, I'll sponsor a team. I'm all about youth sports, 100%. I said, I'm down like four flats. He said, are you really? I said, Already. absolutely. I said, uh, can you meet me at the gas station in 20 minutes? I'll cut you a check. He said, yeah, buddy, I'll meet you there. So I grabbed my checkbook and like a bat out of hell, I headed to the gas station. Now I'm sitting there waiting and my buddy. Good people, okay? Good people, okay? Good things come to good people. I always remember that, y'all. Okay? Whatever you give, you will get it back tenfold. No doubt. I believe that wholeheartedly. Out of hell, I headed to the gas station. Now I'm sitting there waiting, and my buddy pulls up, no, recognize this car. My buddy gets out, and an older gentleman gets out, an older black man. He introduces me, and it just so happens to be that that older black man is the head guy in charge for the inner city baseball league, and he brought him to tell me thank you, which was completely unnecessary, but I really did appreciate it. Now, the older man had seen my black cookout video, and he was just jokingly asking me. He said, hey, buddy, you going to another black cookout for Black History Month? <laughs> And before I could even answer, my buddy turned to him and said, Zach doesn't celebrate Black History Month. The amount of rage that come over <laughs> this man's face was absolutely, it, it was ungodly. I bet you y'all, I could only imagine him going from like, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying, to, okay, why not? <laughs> okay, let me keep going. But I had already had this conversation with my buddy years ago and got him to understand why I don't celebrate Black History Month. And he was thankful. The old man looked at me and he said, you don't celebrate Black History Month? I said, no, sir. He looked at me again. He said, do you care to like elaborate why? I said, absolutely. <laughs> See? And I looked at him. I said, <laughs> y'all, I've never seen. I've never seen this before. Okay, let me keep going. I just had to say that. I told y'all, he like, Shh, why not? You know what I'm saying? Sure, why not? You care to like elaborate why? I said, absolutely. And I looked at him, I said, sir, I have absolutely no idea what it's like to walk around in America as a black man. Mm. I have absolutely no idea what it's like to be judged by the color of my skin in today's day and time. Yeah. I have absolutely no idea what it is like to have a complete history of absolute hatred bestowed upon me simply because of the color of my skin. Yeah. For me to celebrate Black History Month is an insult to you. Mm. You don't 
celebrate a team's win if you're not on that team. What you can do as a decent person is you can honor their win. You can respect their win. Yeah. And you can be happy for them that they won. Mm -hmm. For having to overcome ungodly obstacles for the simple fact of just being looked at as a normal human being and an equal. He just kind of looked at me. He was kind of taken back by the whole ordeal. I told him, I says, Before he even go for a job, that almost made my eyes water up. Man, I, I respect him just for saying that. And, you know, because I feel like there's so many things that, you know, especially when it comes to like Black History Month, where I feel like there's, you know, with, with children in school and, you know, it's either the system will fail us by not teaching our kids everything that they should know in regards to Black History Month or they're only going to give them a little piece of it, which obviously it's like there's not enough time in a freaking year to teach kids black history. You know what I mean? And they only give us just one month of it, you know? And I respect him for that. I, he's just like, y'all, I don't know what that's like. I don't know why I would be celebrating something that has, you know, not necessarily that doesn't have anything to do with me, but it, it, exactly what he just explained like to that degree i i have to give him respect for that i feel like and he's he has a legitimate reason why he would feel that way and i i feel like anybody that would say anything like that would only just have some type of degree of respect for that i don't think it's disrespectful that he doesn't celebrate it um I think, I think, you know what I mean? I think it's commendable that he looks at it that way. And, and he's just like, you know what I mean? I, I'll honor that, but I don't have anything to celebrate. There's nothing for me to ce celebrate. And I don't feel like it's, it's a dig to black people. Obviously he's, he's nowhere near racist. Okay. Let's, I don't even know if I could say that he's, he's not even close to that. I just feel like it's, it's definitely a respect thing. And he's absolutely right about what he said. And, and I 1000% respect him for that. You know, depending on how you want to take that, you know, it, I don't feel like there's anything wrong with what he just said. Basically all of that to say, okay. He just kind of looked at me. He was kind of taken back by the whole ordeal. I told him, I said, sir, for me to sit there and tell you openly that I celebrate Black History Month is an insult to your entire race. Mm -hmm. What I can assure you is that I am in full support of it. I honor it and I respect it to the highest power. Yeah. And I told him, I said, because buddy, when we all get to them pearly gates up there, the man upstairs doesn't care about color. He Nothing. cares about decency. Absolutely. I told him, I said, do you really think if I had any kind of hate in me at all, that I would be down here cutting you a check for a league that interacts inner city black and white kids together. I would not be here. He said, no, you have a point. I said, I, that's right. I have a point for the fact that I don't see color. Just because mm -hmm. I'm a redneck, talk with a draw and spit tobacco doesn't mean that I'm holding on to the old ways. And believe it or not, contrary to most people's popular belief, there is the majority of rednecks out there who do not think that way. Mm -hmm. There is pre-justices given to rednecks the same way there is pre-justices given Two black men black people. and women. Yep. He just, yep. he's kind of taken back at this point. That's so true, y'all. That is so, so true. You know what I mean? Because you have to think about Hispanics. You got to think about Latinos. You got to think about, you know, Asians. Uh, <laughs> you know, there's so many different ethnicities, you know, Mexicans. Like there's, y'all, <laughs> to, to even say what he, like, y'all. Black History Month, you know, <laughs> there should be a month for all of those, all of those ethnicities, just for the fact that y'all, they go through it too. <laughs> Understand that, believe that, believe that. They go through it too. You know what I mean? Like rednecks included. He just said it. Two black men and women. He just, he's kind of taken back at this point. He kind of steps back and he's, yeah, you can tell he's thinking real hard. Like this white man is basically telling me right now that he doesn't celebrate black history month, but I can't argue with why he doesn't. He looked at me, he says, so basically you're telling me that you don't celebrate black history month because you don't have the right to. I said, you're exactly right, sir. Mm -hmm. He said, do you think there's some more of you out there? I said, buddy. I got a company called Bass Bucks and Birds. He said, yeah, I know about it. So you're writing a check from. I said, yeah, absolutely. I said, there, my, my Facebook page is predominantly rednecks because that's all I talk about is hunting, fishing, and stuff like that. 
He said, yeah. I said, I guarantee you if I do a fundraiser for the inner city baseball leagues to help out the children to make sure that they're able to play this year, regardless of what color they are, you will see more support than you've ever seen in your whole life. He said, do you really think that? I said, I don't just think that, sir. I know that. Mm -hmm. He said, would you do that? I said, I'll do it. I'll do it tomorrow morning. So, like I said, from Bass Bucks and Birds, which is my outdoor company, which is probably predominantly white, any subscription box that is bought from my company for this month, the proceeds are going to the inner city kids. I'm going to show them, not just tell them, I'm going to show them that there is decent people out there regardless of the color of their skin and regardless if they talk with a draw. That is absolutely right. That is absolutely right, you know, from all spectrums, black people, white people, Mexicans, Hispanics, Latinos, rednecks, you name it. Okay, there are good people out there in the world. I think we all know this. We know this, but the perception of the color of people's skin and how they make decisions on what they want to, you know, include themselves in and be a part of and to donate to, that's the problem. I feel like he's saying, like, people can, you know, will start kind of, you know, oh no, this is for black kids and white kids in a league like no you know what i mean like from any perspective and i and i feel like you know what i mean zach is a good man man zach is a good 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 man and i love like you know at, at least to to looking into this video with what he's saying y'all i hey <laughs> to a whole nother level i have respect for this man okay it's, it's just what he's talking about to the to the degree of what he's explaining and how he's putting that into how he sees it and how he understands it and how he wants to show other people that there are good people. People aren't always deceived by the color of their skin or their ethnicities, race, religion, whatever that is, okay? Because they're not. I am not only going to express to him the fact that I'm that way. I'm going to prove to him that the old days and the hatred that people think that they're holding on to and this, that, and the other is gone. Mm -hmm. And if you're one of them idiots that holds on to that kind of hatred, you have absolutely no business at all on my page. Right. At all. Hey. Mine neither. Okay? Don't come over here with that foolishness. Okay? Because I, I don't care about none of that. None of that. Like I was talking about the preconceptions and stuff, just because I'm a redneck... I'm the opposite of racist. I'm well known for going to my first black cookout, which I was shown more respect there than I ever have in my life. And I will continue throughout my life to match that respect mm -hmm. in every way, shape, and form. So if you want to be a part of it and you want a subscription box from me, go to the link in the description and buy a subscription box because I'm fitting to support that whole league. And I told him, I said, I do honestly believe that the amount of people on my page and the amount of people that have let go of the hate and has finally accepted the fact that we are all God's children, mm. I can get you enough support to fund this whole league. So if you want to be a part of it, click the, click the link in the description. And if you're one of the people that's holding on to hate, hit that unfollow button because you got no business at all on my page. I heard that. I love everybody, and that's always going to be the case. She is. <laughs> Y'all, he be killing me with how he, <laughs> with how he ends everything. He be like, she, okay? No, y'all. I mean, what can you say to that? I feel like there's so many things like people can agree to disagree, uh, you know, to, to feel like they feel some type of way about what he's saying. And I'm just like, I feel the same way. If you are here because, you know, you know, you only want to see, you know, certain people or you only want to be a part of certain things. Like, I'm not for that. Y'all, I don't care if you are gay, if you straight, if you LGBTQ. I don't care about any of that. Okay, at the end of the day, we are all people. We bleed red blood. We put our pants on the same damn way. Okay? And that's it. That's it. And that's all. <laughs> you know, unfortunately, everybody doesn't see it that way. And to call it for what it is, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Because that's what it is. But, you know, I respect Zach, man. Like, I, I ain't. <laughs> 
every time I watch him, y'all, I feel like I get a little bit more of who he is and his perspective, and I definitely have a, a much more greater respect for him in, in this in this sense. So um, shout out to you, Zach, you know what I mean, for supporting all people, all mankind, human, race, religion, ethnicity, whoever, wherever you are, whatever color <laughs> you, you are, whatever walk of life you came from, okay? Like, say your piece. It's, it's you that has to live with that. It's you that has to live with that hate. And, and, and anybody that's walking around like that, you walking around with a chip on your shoulder, I can only imagine the animosity you got built up inside of you. I don't even wanna be no part to that. And and if you one of those people, <laughs> feel the same way, please. You know what I mean? See your way out, you know? So. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this. I see that a lot of people have reacted to this same video for probably all for the same reason. I wish I would have seen this back in February so I could have helped, you know, support him. But, you know, I wasn't doing this shit. So, <laughs> so shout out to Zach Russian, man. If you out there, if you see this, man, I appreciate you and I respect you for that 1000%, man. Keep doing what you're doing. So, if y'all enjoyed this video, be sure you give me a big thumbs up like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl and if ain't nobody told you i love you and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video y'all <laughs> bye